It's live from last week, episode 45. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So tonight, I'm just chilling in Scarborough after a very busy day. So let me just fill you guys in on what we did today. Basically, we started off the day by visiting my parents earlier. So guys, right when I arrived to my parents' house, basically, my mom just gave me a plate of frozen burgers and told me just to get outside and start grilling. And while shooting some video for live from last week and not being familiar with using a barbecue in more than four years, I almost burnt down the place. Oopsies. I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, grease. Yeah, slow down. Fireman Tito Eddie to the rescue! <laughs> and guys, I'm just very thankful that Tito Eddie was there to save the day. But yeah, luckily we were able to finish cooking the barbecue meal and finally was able to sit down and enjoy our lunch. And by the way, here's the reaction video that I got from Tito Mone after I showed her that video. Oh my gosh, you're burning the house! You're burning the house! <laughs> Anyways, while I was at home, I managed to check out my old piano that I used to play with when I was younger. And although it might seem like I'm a little bit rusty, I tried to play it for the first time in years. And for the next event of the day, we drove over 90 minutes cross town to Mississauga, where my Tita Chi surprised me with this gift of a Rowan Garros baseball cap. Thanks, Tita. I also got to check out the progress on the renovations that they're doing in the kitchen, comparing on how it looked just over a week ago and to how it looks now. And afterwards, the fiance and I went to a local Takumi an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place to have a very fulfilling dinner with my Tito Ken and Tita Asako. And yes, the food was amazing, the meat is well-seasoned, and the shrimp is definitely something to try if you ever go there. And lastly, to cap off our night, the fiancé and I went to Square One to walk around. And while doing so, we saw this pop-up art exhibit where, of course, you could take pictures and videos and where I also decided to go around and dance trying to do my best impression of a fluttering heart slash ballerina. But anyways, before I go to sleep tonight after a very busy day, I just have a birthday greeting to one of my university friends, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I'm remembering our times back at Ryerson, hanging out with you and Anna, and seeing you guys over at FCAR events every so often. Going to their movie nights and game nights on those Fridays, those were good times. But anyways, Michelle, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Good morning, guys. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm about to drop the fiance off at work this morning for her day shift. I got my dad a couple of gifts here that we're gonna try to open up later on today. So let's go down to downtown Toronto, drop off the fiance, then head back to my parents' place and visit my mom and dad. Now, let me recap this busy day. Starting with when Tita Mone made me this interesting smoothie. Mom, she made a smoothie with celery, right? Secret ingredient, right mom? Yes! Uh, she says we don't like celery. She wants us to eat our vegetables. <laughs> Fruits with celery. Blends everything in the blender. Hoping that we won't find out what ingredients she puts in Secret her smoothies. Secret ingredients. Secret ingredient. Afterwards, I checked up on the renos of the parents' bathroom. Just checking on the bathroom reno updates for today, October 27th. 
Ooh, look at this. It's looking nice, mom and dad. But they're gonna install the doors today for the shower and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Then I went downstairs to see the parents roasting me after I almost roasted the house yesterday. Grease. The grease from the burger. <laughs> the bad burger is dripping. So what was I doing, Dad? When <laughs> can you show me what I was doing when uh, the? Oh, it's a fire! 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 <laughs> I was here when I came to sit down here and saw the parents are at the rooftop. Like I. <laughs> so he ran over and he came over happen. there. So I sneaked, sneaked like that, and he was like, selfie, selfie. <laughs> I also saw that my sister injured her foot slash ankle after wearing some footwear that didn't fit her. Nico, why are you limping? Because my foot needs to be decapitated! No! <laughs> the heck happened? She woke up like this! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Made you move it! Made you move it! So stupid. <laughs> we then went to Moore's to get Tito Eddie fitted for a tuxedo suit that we're gonna rent for him. Afterwards, we went shopping with the sister to buy some things for a bachelor party that we're having soon. Then we got pitas at a local pita joint and thoroughly enjoyed these at home. But while driving, one thing was on my mind earlier today. Can somebody from my hometown please explain what exactly is happening to the legendary Pine Ridge Motel and the ice cream place of my childhood, Scoops, where we always used to get a post-game cone back in the day. But anyways, before I head back home to Scarborough, I have some birthday greetings for you guys today, starting with Rose. Happy birthday, Rose. I'm remembering playing beach volleyball with you in the tournament last month and helping you finally defeat Cammy. Anyways, Rose, hope you're doing well. Stay safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And next, I have a birthday greeting for one of my childhood friends, Andrew. Happy birthday, Drew. I am remembering back in the day doing dance lessons with you, as well as you teaching me how to do the windmill and break dance. And not to forget a rendition of Mama Said Knock You Out. Anyways, Andrew, hope you're doing well. Stay safe and healthy at this time. And I hope that you too had a great birthday this year. So guys, just here on a beautiful Thursday morning, doing my monthly visit to my Lala. And I just want to let you know, Lala, that we're still praying for you. We're still thinking about you. We love you and we miss you lots. All right, till next time, Lala. So after going and seeing Lala today, I decided to go to a local park after I dropped off the fiance to get a dress altered for an event that we're having soon. And I'm just chilling here before I go in for my first of my three night shifts. But anyways, guys, I'll end it right there and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So after my night shift this morning, I'm just wanting to introduce you to the newest member of the Mini Carpool Club. What is it that I want to say? Hey guys, I got a new special guest in the Mini Carpool. Hi. Sandra, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> Bye Sandra. Bye. <laughs> Thanks again for riding with me and keeping me company this morning, Sandra. And hopefully, for next time, you'll be able to provide a review for your experience in the mini carpool. And I don't know if you guys remember this segment from a couple of days ago. I got my dad a couple of gifts here that we're going to try to open up later on today. But I forgot to open those gifts with my dad back when I was at home. So I got my sister to open those packages. And these are the surprises that I got my dad for Halloween. Pretty cool, eh? A couple of cool costumes that I ordered earlier in the year that I showcased to you guys, if you remember, from a previous Loud From Last Week episode. But anyways, tonight, Friday night, we're celebrating Halloween at work. So I went to a local Dollarama and bought a couple of makeshift costumes for the other co-workers that I have, in case they didn't bring a costume to wear tonight. So I'm off for my second of my three night shifts tonight, and I'll update you guys with some pictures to show you guys how it went. So today, post night shift, went straight to Tim Hortons and had an early breakfast because we had an event to attend in between the night shifts. So basically, got here in Mississauga, took a quick nap, then headed up to Foodie North for some delicious Chinese food and to celebrate 
Jersey's birthday. And man, post lunch, I am stuffed. I mean, look at all the selections that we got to enjoy today. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! Good flavor. <laughs> oh. P.S. Do you guys remember me mentioning about the Halloween costumes that I was bringing to work yesterday? Well, here are the Halloween costumes that my coworkers and I were able to wear last night at work. <laughs> here, wear this. Wait, wait, and come out. We're gonna take a picture. Okay, we got Joseph. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> One, two, three. And don't we look like an awesome bunch? But anyways, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, we're gonna drive the birthday girl for her birthday dinner that she's having with her friend in a mini carpool, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so after an incredibly busy night shift last night, which actually started off before my shift when I had to commute an hour and a half to work, stuck in traffic, I came onto shift being the chef in charge, got a sick patient that I had to transfer out to another unit, and just being busy in general at work last night, I got home this morning after work and just passed out. The only bad thing is, I only slept for this much after my shift last night. But I think it's because I'm too excited for Halloween tonight. So guess what? I'm at the beach after an hour and a half sleep and I'm ready to do some Halloween beach volleyballing. Let's go! So after a fun day at the beach today, I went home, washed up, changed my costume, and now the fiance and I are headed to Mississauga. We're off to Ronnie's for yet another Halloween festivity tonight. Oh my gosh, it's so, all from last week, episode I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, no treats this year. <laughs> today is the 1st of November, meaning Happy November, guys! So last night, after visiting Ronnie for some Halloween pizza and beers, and dressing up like the Toronto Blue Jays baseball player, Bo Bichette, we went back to the fiancé's parents' place, and because I got minimal sleep throughout the day yesterday, I just passed out last night. But, as usual, after only getting 6 to 7 hours of sleep, my body woke up just before 6 o'clock, and I had to get up. So, while I had the energy, I drove back to Scarborough, and now I'm here, chilling, before I go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight. But one thing that was cool that I saw last night was that my mom, while handing out some Halloween treats last night, made use of those costumes that I brought home a couple days ago. But anyways, it's a new month. And today, on the calendar, is All Souls Day. 
And so, before I go in for my night shift, I plan to visit my Lola and my Tita Noel and Tita Malin at their sites later on today. But before I go and do that, I have a couple birthday shoutouts for you guys today. First, I have a happy belated birthday greeting to one of my old classmates in Ryerson, Victoria. Happy birthday, Victoria. I'm remembering going to second year clinical classes with you, as well as having fun in our placements with Cheryl's group back in the day. Anyways, Victoria, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Next birthday greeting is for one of my childhood friends, Joanna. Happy birthday, Joanna. I'm remembering back at Mother Teresa when I had kindergarten classes with you and stopping by your place and visiting you on your porch back when you were living on Yorkville. Anyways, Joanna, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe, and I hope you had a great birthday. My next birthday greeting I have for you guys today is for another childhood friend of mine, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. One of the most talented dancers that I've ever met, she would always help us get platinum in every competitions that we would go to. And her form and discipline in dance practices was something that we would always try to achieve. Anyways, Katie, say hi to the family. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. Anyways, guys, it's come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.